So, despite the Reclaimer pulling through in the, uh, my previous video, the ship has ghosts, where I was risking melting the Reclaimer, sure it did technically pull through, but then once 3.18.2 3 hit the live servers, there was just no salvage at all. It made salvaging completely useless, and so I ended up melting it so I could buy my favorite ship, a dream ship. I melted the Reclaimer to get the Reclaimer 2949 Best in Show Edition, aka the Hello Kitty edition of the Reclaimer, because it's it's white and it's pink and it's beautiful. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at that big old kitty. <laughs> I've always like I remember I didn't initially know this existed when I first started playing Star Citizen because it was after this best in show when it came out that I really jumped in and I when I was first sort of inquiring about the reclaimer um someone's like oh my friend's got the pink one I'm like oh I mean the one with the, the aphorite skin is a you know a sort of a pinkish skin that you can get for it like no 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 the best in show the best in show and I looked it up and I'm like oh my god it's literally a Hello Kitty <laughs> themed reclaimer, which is just ridiculous to me. And um, I like really, really ridiculous things. I think it really, it's, uh, you know, it stands out. It's still like, I don't know, it's still super like menacing because <laughs> it can't not be just with the size and the, 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 the entire structure and everything of it. But it's just so ridiculous to see it in this like paint scheme. Um, that it still demands, it demands respect, you know, and, uh, yeah, I melted the reclaimer, um, and managed to see you up to a Valkyrie, Valkyrie, which I still really like, actually wanted to keep, but the Valkyrie was the closest CCU, CCU chain, um, for me to be able to get the best in show reclaimer, and I finally have it, I'm really, really happy with it, um, it's beautiful. In fact, this is the first time that I'm taking it out. So I'm taking it out on the 3.19 PTU to check out the salvage contracts. So while yes, you know, we there's been no salvage in uh, the current sort of live branch, like knowing that these salvage contracts are coming in, that there's going to be an assured way to get a hold of it. I'm like, all right, well, was ever going to upgrade to it? Now would be the time. But for a, a quick while there, I didn't have a Reclaimer or a Vulture. And there was no need to, because it's uh, like, you know, well, what the hell are you going to do with it? I mean, nothing. There's no salvage out there. But yes, I'm very curious to go out and check out this, uh, Thank you. this salvage contract and see what they're like, see if they're worth it. You know? Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> you actually like a Google search this. Um, I think one of the first like images that comes up in Google Images is uh, someone superimposed the Hello Kitty like logo <laughs> over the, the best in show one at the back, which is hilarious. It totally makes sense. Look at that. Ah, beautiful. Good. All right. Well, let's take one of these legal ones first. We're gonna get an Origin 350R salvage right. So these ones are only like thousand dollars, but these contracts, like once you build them up, you unlock more and more to get like higher gear salvage. Um, but for this, I just want to see sort of what's available initially. I'm curious because like, while yes, we just have hull scraping you know this brings component salvaging into the mix um so i want to see what it's like to you know not only scrape um the the recycled material off it but you know what the what the guns are worth like i don't i don't know if you can like put them in the inventory it's one thing i've been thinking about like if we're getting all these guns so say if like me and the salvaging org go out and we salvage a bunch of these and we rip off all the guns and the components and that are we going to be able to put it into an inventory to store it or does that mean we're going to have to like literally like 
physically keep these pieces like in the uh, like the cargo bay of a ship, um, or either you know, or just sell them. You know, because I would like to have like a stockpile of components. But if we if it has to like constantly stay inside of a ship, and if you like risk kind of like blowing up and losing it, it kind of it's kind of not cool. Like you'd think you'd be able to put it into a, um, an inventory, particularly say like with the things like the Banu Merchantman coming, um, the ability to sell stuff in stores. You'd, you know, you'd think it'd be a bit of a missed opportunity if you weren't able to put, you know, ship components and guns into the stores. That feels like what the most um, important kind of things would be to be able to, to buy and trade in the first, like, and uh, especially with uh, salvaging as a, like an industry profession, um, I think it would be, would make us as like, you know, my like salvaging org and skull scrapers, I you think it would make us really, um, important to other orgs being like a source of, uh, components and stuff that they could kind of buy and sell since we would be the ones kind of going out and getting into stuff, you know, technically more than anyone else would be. Uh, and that feels like, you know, it seems like a, a good role to kind of play being the, um, what are they called? The, the Jawas <laughs> of Star Citizen, essentially. Wootini! Kept overshooting it, and I must have just ended up sitting on the. <laughs> oh, yep, it's stuck in my claw. Ah, crap. I mean, I still have the salvaging contract. I just have a uh, level two crime stat as well. Just stupid. Why would I have a crime stat for blowing up a vehicle I have the salvage rights for? What did the owner still want the the dilapidated husk at the end? What a stupid. Thing. Okay, you got a little bit of I had something in its little cargo hold. That's right. Well, these are these uh, salvage ships are all supposed to have like um, goods in their cargo hold. So it'd be interesting to see what's in there. Like, there's no way I can get more than maybe a box or a box and a half of this thing. You'd think. Ah, that's the uh, canopy. <laughs> when I smashed into it. I seem to have launched it inside of the cockpit. So it's a pretty good. Uh, make a pretty good shield. Except I can't get it out of here. Let's see what Lou's got on board. See, is there any like components that are exposed from smashing it? Maybe that's a benefit by doing it this way. Can I get this? No. So okay, I like I've destroyed, destroyed the gun. Fair enough. Fair enough. My bad. My bad. A lot of these like uh, low-level salvage contracts. Um, I was like, oh, that'll be good for components. And I realized, like, oh, I don't think these didn't have component access on them yet. So you can't get to their, their components. So one good thing, uh, or one change that you probably can't, you can't tell just from the video, but if you've played three, uh, 3.19 test branch is the multi-tool has uh, like a second function now. It's, there's the tractoring and the detaching, and you can use, apparently, I mean, detaching mode, and you can still use that to track the stuff, but one thing uh, that's different about it, it's quite good, is that you no longer have to hold your button down to kind of keep whatever you're tractoring, tractoring, which has the added benefit of that. You know, sometimes when you're like holding the, the button down, tractor beaming, and the the uh, whatever your tractor tractoring has like a bad desync, like you can, and it goes and like you know tractors detractors tractors detractors it, 
That's because like the server tick rate is kind of so slow that it's kind of like going, are they holding it? Are they pressing it? Oh, I don't think they are. No, they are. No, they're not. No, they are. No, they're not. Uh, but when it knows it's in like the detaching mode where it's just supposed to like you press it and it all stays on and wherever it's holding, it knows that even I think in between those server ticks uh, where it can't register it, it at least knows like, no, no, we're, we're on. We're still holding it. And, uh, and there's another one. There's no longer like a ghost when you're placing something down on the cargo grid. I don't even cargo grid. I don't even know if that's a uh, an error or if it's supposed to be that way. But hmm, fine. Let's see what else we've got here in terms of salvaging. Is a boring. Uh, there's also like criminal ones in the personal tab. Just follow this one. Everything here. Oh, $150,000. <laughs> okay, so this is like a big war one where there's like multiple people might be there. $150,000. There might be a lot of shit there. What's well, going to come here to pay off my crime stat, but might as well keep it on me, I guess. Just in case I slam into any other more shit. <laughs> more ships out there, you know? Might as well do it. It's a full villain. Alright, onward. Ooh, the salvage area. Risky Nisk Freelance Max Salvage Job. Better not just be that. Okay, multiple targets. Oh, okay. Okay. This looks like it might be a little bit better than just the 350. What is anyone else here? Is that a carrick? I think it is. Just little stubby TIE fighter wings. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, these like salvage shops are. These ships are supposed to be, you know, quite a like loot boxes, as they've said. So, like, I don't know if it's got any special guns or cargo in its cargo bay. This thing's got a, quite a significant size cargo bay. Ooh, I wonder if its med bay works. Like, the 890 Jumps med bay still works. I think I got, got up a bit far away. Yeah, a bit closer than this. This is, it looks it's so big, it was deceptively far away, I think. Line up the munches. Paying that pretty well. Okay, okay. I mean, if there were multiple people salvaging here, I would be worried um, that there wouldn't be enough. But I suppose, like, if I can get away with just spending my time here, it, I could make... Because remember, it was 150 grand. Like, you'd think that you'd have to make that back pretty easily and then get into the profit pretty well. I mean, $150,000, like, it's, it's a lot for a buy of anything in this game, but... When you get to this little level, like if you're going out salvaging and stuff, like it just that 150 grand isn't that much, especially if it's all like secured that it's here. All right, let's move these boxes. There we go. There. 
Hello. Head on in the docking car. Let's do uh, So, if I'm doing this right, uh, if I want to get the weapons off of this bad boy, I need to make it to the bridge to kind of get them, uh, like, free the hard points. Also, check at the med bay. And, uh, ooh, wait, is there anything in the cargo hold? No, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Okay. It's like, uh, this carrot doesn't come with any cargo. It's actually weird. If you're spending that much money, you'd think it would. The, uh, one that was only a thousand dollars had included cargo. Oh, this is work. Generation character. Um, yeah, seemingly works. The bridge. Okay. Ports unlock all. Port ships ports unlocked. Ship ports unlocked, right. I got them where I came in. not opening or I'm about to 30k okay okay this one isn't working either or this one nope okay what about up on the, the EVA deck no what the fuck See, it can't be a 30k because the elevator and all the other doors in between were working. I'm like locked in the garage. <laughs> uh, it's kind of terrifying. Alright, let me try it unlocking from the bridge. Unlock, like open all doors here. <laughs> Otherwise, we go problem. Okay, thank god. That was freaky. Why did it do that? The line, or the arrow. Uh oh, sorry. Hmm, didn't think of this. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm gonna get this inside. These airlocks are pretty. These airlocks are pretty big. I'll probably get in here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on now. Do it quickly. Run, 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 run. Oh, wait, there's another door behind. <sighs> Come on. Ah, shit. Just pop this back door open. Move the guns into the booty hole. This should work. Yeah, plenty of room. These guns are like deceptively large. Like when they're in space and you kind of like haul them around, it's like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. But then once you like got them inside an enclosed space, like your ship, and it's like blocking your way, like holy shit. Because they always look big in the shops, you know? But in, within the vastness of space, you know, it's all just, just a just perspective. Alright, let's take a look. This is the freelancer miss. Let's give this a bit of a salvage. It's 
nice little laser cannons on there. We'll Taking those in a second. Thank you. See, I don't think you can access those component terminals in these mis misc ships yet. I really need to get on to all that physical, physical as component stuff now that they've got the whole, you know, the fact that we can like remove them and install them. Like it really is a bit of a, a bummer for all the ships that can't. Okay, grab this off. I know what's at the front. So, this is definitely going to become a bit of a meta, um, well, it's going to become the the problem to solve as, as the meta, like, chucking, like, I had to turn the Reclaimer around and open this back to, like, get the only real spot to put in these physicalized components, um, which is kind of, you know, annoying. Uh, if you're like salvaging something, say if you've got like a team and you've only got the reclaimer, if you've got people going out to detach stuff while everyone else is like scraping the hulls, like EVAing and like shifting them all the way to the back of the reclaimer while it's still doing that is like quite far. Yet having to like turn it around to, you know, present itself, you know, is sort of like completely stops what the reclaimer is doing. So I guess the. The trick is really going to be for, like finding the uh, like the perfect sort of escort ship for these components and stuff. Like, I imagine with mining, um, you know, they're talking about all these like, oh, you can have all these mining heads that you can swap all this stuff out. Uh, I mean, that sounds good in theory, but if you can, if you have to like have them as physical items, I mean, that means you'd have to get your mole or prospector, equip it when it's uh, inventory item, the vehicle loadout manager, light armistice zone, detach it, try and get it on board, then go back, dock it, vehicle manager, attach a new one, then disconnect it, either that or like go and just rob other um, prospectors or whatever. like. I don't know, there needs to be some sort of transitional point in between, like, taking them from the inventory into physical items and from physical items to inventory state. Like, unless there already is, and I don't know, but I, I can't... I haven't seen anything on it. I'm not even sure if these are necessarily worth it. Like, pretty sure Panther repeaters, like, or well, repeaters in general, uh, aren't worth all that much. Like, I mean, if we're comparing it to the amount of time it takes to get, like, salvage material, say, if you're, like, in the one ship in the Proclaimer and you're stopping continually salvaging. To go grab parts like this. Um, pretty sure there's only like a grand or a couple grand each or whatever, you know, and each box of salvage is like seven grand. So if I'm each, you know, two or three or four of these, it takes longer than it is to get a, a box of RMC that's not worth the time. I guess, yeah, you really would want like to come here with a group with someone's role is just to go around ship to ship to ship taking all the sal like salvageable components off i mean it would be worth it um just had someone else here doing this i guess something like um the 
Chorus would probably be perfect for it, but I wonder how reliable it's uh, cargo bay because you know the cargo bay opens it like lowers you've got heaps of these sort of like guns sitting on it and then you raise it if it desyncs you uh, you probably want to check if that uh kind of phase through the the bottom of it or not and if they don't it's great i mm. mean oh, i guess the other thing is if these can't be put if you wanted to keep these guns for like the future and you can't put them in an inventory then You'd want whatever ship you were putting them on to sort of always pretty much, pretty much exclusively function as that role, yeah? Because it's not like you'd want to load these onto, like, say, a Constellation Andromeda. And then if you needed to take that Constellation Andromeda out to do, like, bounties or something with, you would, you, I mean, you wouldn't, because you can't get. You know, if you're not selling this gear and it's sitting there in the cargo, you couldn't risk that. Like, that <laughs> you'd die and just be like a piñata of guns, like, flying out everywhere. I Maybe mean, be funny, but if you were going to do this, like, seriously, I guess. Oh, caterpillar. A caterpillar, like, opening up and, like, like, each little, um... Each little module kind of like has the door on the side that opens up, imagine opening up and you've got like, there's just the ballistics. <laughs> oh, actually that sounds sick. This is where we keep all the QT drives. These are all the, the cannons are. Open up the side like a big shop. I mean like, you know, I've got an A2, but the point of a ship like the Hercules, like anything in the Hercules series is about one, like, you know, moving actual cargo with it but also like vehicles and you wouldn't want to have a cargo vehicle like with things bouncing around it like covering the cargo grid or if you're going to have like actual vehicles um in it you also wouldn't want all these like loose sort of uh entities bouncing around as well so since the the caterpillar can't have those vehicles and it's called that space uh, and it's not the best car it's got great cargo space but when you've got like a, a hercules the hercules is so maneuverable um that it sort of dwarfs the cat in those regards i guess the caterpillar was probably would probably make the best sort of um salvage i mean it already was for like vultures um with the vultures like having like if you had like a crew of vultures i think uh Susan kate did a good video on that way they just sort of like had their backs lined up and people in the cat would like move them over one by one uh, onto its grid, which is pretty good. This is the free ones at max. Guns have been grabbing off here. Hello, ladies. <laughs> yes, I think these are. Yeah, these, look, these would look sick in the uh, the caterpillar. Or if you can get like uh, you know the um, like those cage trolleys that they have in the uh, in the hangars. I wonder if you could like. So sit those in there uh, without it tipping over and probably tip over. All right, well, time to get sell everything. Look, I didn't grab, I didn't salvage everything. I salvaged like the glutton, you know, like easiest to access parts. And um, I mean, there were still missiles. There was still like a bunch of smaller guns on stuff. So if I spent more time here and I like really went after it. Like after a while I realized like, look, I'm on the PTU, it's all going to be like wiped by tomorrow, I don't need to actually grab everything off here, but I wanted to salvage enough that I could get a good idea of sort of what I was in for.
all in all, that big contract I spent 150,000. The smaller contract I spent 1,000. And for my grime stat, that's probably going to be like 20 grand as well. So I need to make considerably more over 171,000 for it to be worth it. Probably spent about three hours, I reckon, out here. And I mean, I wasn't the most productive the entire time. Like I was definitely just like watching stuff at the same time. Uh, let's see how it goes. Right, let's pay this fear. The crime of blowing up my own salvage. Stupid. Oh crap, there's even more. It's 30,000. <laughs> I need to make, what, it's like a hundred and eighty-two, eighty-three thousand. I need to make more. No, to self. Don't blow up own salvage. <laughs> Profit to be gone. That, I mean, that one I got was from a salvage contract that cost me a thousand dollars. So, it didn't really cost me a thousand dollars. It cost me... Thirty-three thousand dollars just for a fucking <laughs> thirty three fifty. Okay, thirty-three. Okay, so I got the distilled spirits. What I got from that uh, Origin three fifty definitely didn't cost. <laughs> definitely wasn't worth the amount it was to uh, get it. Yeah, thirty-three. Two hundred and fifty-four. All right. Well, if I didn't blow up my own salvage and get that 32,000 bill probably would have been a lot better now let's see about the guns so I guess from that I'm in profit like it's like 80 grand from it so far let's take a look the weapons in here okay so these M5A cannons they're worth it uh, the Panthers were... Eh? Okay, the Rhino was worth a good amount. But these cannons were... There were quite a few were out there, so that seems quite worth it. I guess if you see these laser cannons, grab them. <laughs> or if they're large repeaters, but these like... Yeah, these like size 2 badger repeaters don't really seem very worth it, do they? I'd say probably all in all, I made probably 100k profit, even with the, the crime stat and uh, how much all these contracts cost me. Okay, I reckon I probably could have gotten twice the amount of RMZ if I really stuck by it. If I had someone helping me, like it would have been a lot easier. That, that was me soloing like a reclaimer, like that is ridiculous. I was soloing a reclaimer. And salvaging components, everything simultaneously. But with a crew, I mean, you'd make probably quick smarter than. Ooh, wonder if I can train surf this bitch. Hang on here, I always want to ride on these things. Let me up. Let me. Oh, let's walk down here. Oh, no, I'm sliding. Ah, I'm sliding. But if I if I stand at ease, sometimes it locks you in place. Right, at ease. Huh? I think it's working? No, I'm still sliding. Uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, my name's Dead Leader. I'll see you in the verse. And special shout outs to all my patrons. You're all the real ones. Thanks for the support.